Hey everybody, today we are going on an adventure and we are going to fire up Rocinante and we are heading up those mountains back there. We're gonna climb about 3,000 feet on gravel and then we're gonna hit pavement and we're gonna head south on the Blue Ridge Parkway to get to our destination. Um, I don't really wanna say what it is, but it'll be in the title. We're gonna climb a mountain and go to the summit, but the, the main objective is lower than the sun we're gonna go find something that most people don't see in fact i've never been there i'm gonna go check it out for the first time and take you guys along with me so let's go it is about 45 degrees out here fahrenheit so it is chilly so i've had to gear up a little bit and i'm gonna have to strip all of this off and switch into hiking gear once we get to our destination so i can hike up this mountain it's gonna be a hike once we get there so let's get underway We are getting close to the top of the ridge line. I'm gonna have to back off the motor to keep the engine noise down while I'm trying to talk. I'm trying a different microphone and camera setup, so hopefully this works. I don't really know how well this is gonna turn out. So it's a bit of a gamble. Yeah, I wanted to come up here and go camping, and I was gonna do this during the camping trip. So we've had to leave Joe Boo behind. He's gonna guard the house while I'm gone. Because we have to travel light. And we recently had a hurricane that came through here and that kind of put the kibosh on my camping trip. So we're turning this into a day trip and we're just gonna ride out to where we're going. And this road is, like I said, it's taking us up the mountain. And we're gonna climb this up to about 3,000 feet or so. And then we're gonna hit the Blue Ridge Parkway. And we'll take that south and go to the actual campground where I was gonna camp at. And we will start our hike from there. So hopefully this all works out pretty good. And it's gonna be a bit of a climb and it's not gonna be easy on me. I've done this climb before uh, to the summit, but I've never gone to where we're actually going. We'll do the summit too, but the main reason for coming out here is something else. Uh, I've put on a few pounds since I've done this sort of thing. And I'm not in the greatest of shape anymore. But I have been working out. I've been training hard for this uh, little expedition. Uh, I've been uh, doing some training hikes. Uh, getting up off the couch during commercials and hiking to my refrigerator and back. So hopefully that you know will help out in a couple weeks of doing that. Will hopefully uh, show some benefits, or hopefully we'll get some benefit out of that. Here we are. This is the Blue Ridge Parkway right here. So from here, we're going to take a right. We'll stay on this for about 30 miles.
All right, we have arrived at our destination. We are at the base of the Sharp Top Mountain. Can't see it from here, but on the way in, I tried to pan over with the camera and get you guys a good view of where we're going. Got the Himalayan all locked up. Stripped out all the motorcycle gear. So I've got like boots in one side of the pannier and biking gear in the other side. Let's head over to the trail side and see what it looks like and see what we've got ahead of us. My legs are gonna be burning after we get done with this thing. Let's go. All right, so we got like a little store and bathroom area here at the bottom. See, we've just walked from over there to here. And I think the shuttle goes from here to the lodge and campground areas. And we've got a sign here telling us everything we need to know. 1.5 miles. Uh, 1.5 miles for all the people in Europe on the metric system. That's like a whole bunch of centimeters or something. Something like that. I'm letting my group of Russians that I was tagging along with go. We've got 1.4 miles to go. And I'm already winded. Let's trek on. Well, we are underway. Hopefully this microphone setup is gonna work. I've got the camera mounted on the shoulder strap of my backpack. And that's how I rode out here too, so. All the on-bike footage came that way as well. Should have stopped and stretched out a little bit. My calves are moving already. Getting old kind of sucks. I can't just hop off the bike and just start doing that. Need to stretch out a little bit. So we've got a long ways to go. We're only about a tenth of a mile into the, into the hike. It's not long. Just the uphill. Maybe I can roll down. Make that a little bit easier. I could sure use a, a moon pie and a soda about right now. Yeah, I don't think Mount Everest is any in any danger of me conquering it. I would like to do a hike to the base camp though, just to see it. But I don't have any desire to go up it. All right, we are getting close. Coming to a split in the path here. Yeah, the peak is that way to our left. Buzzard's Roost to our right. And our actual destination is right around here too. So let's go see Buzzard's Roost. Then we'll head off where we're really going.
Andy. There's the summit, that's where we're really going. All right, we saw it. Let's get down. Now we gotta go find something cool. So I can get off this thing without falling. You fall off that thing, they ain't gonna find you for a while. All right, let's get down to business. The summit is there, and we are about to step off this trail, and we are going down there, because we are looking for something. So we are going off trail. I'm gonna take a bearing with my compass here. So I know which direction to come back if I get turned around. All right, let's do it. hard to tell where we're going but I see a piece of red or pink tape over there I'm assuming it's telling me the way all right we're getting very steep here I'm going to be on all fours trying to climb out of here. I'm going to have to back down this. So you can see what I got to climb out of here or climb to get out of here. But this should be worth it if we find what we're after. All right, we found another pink ribbon. Like I said, I think these are marking the way. Yeah, this is going to be much steeper getting out of here than it was coming up the mountain the first time. All right, we are in the right spot. We've just found our first sign of what we're looking for. That is the engine of a B-25 bomber. It's somebody's backpack hunting. So there's probably somebody else out here taking pictures. Yeah, I can hear people down below me now. There was a B-25 that crashed here during World War II. So we're just out here to check out the wreckage. And there's a little memorial out here somewhere. We'll find it too. Here's a piece. It's hard to imagine this stuff's been laying here since 
1943. So I was at 80 years. Right, let's go down that way and see what we, what we can find. There's more wreckage here. It's like part of the fuselage. All the paint is gone. See where it just jammed in. I don't know if that's wing or fuselage. Might be. I don't know. Got some scuppers here. Could be part of the wing. Big piece of fuselage, so I'm trying to work my way down to it. Some more debris right here. Trying not to step on it. Oh. Yeah, this is probably part of the tail section. Graffiti all over the place. Some people have no respect. So they were flying pretty low to hit here because we aren't anywhere near the summit now. I said, I've got a big climb to get out of here. More smaller pieces here. And they, they try to keep this kind of secret. That's why there was no uh, signs or anything letting people know, hey, go down here, you'll see this. Because they don't want people carting this stuff off. All these, this is, you know, it's all kind of historical here. So they don't want like souvenir seekers and treasure hunters coming out here grabbing pieces of it. And who knows what that is. Engine mount, something circular. More debris back that way. It's just kind of scattered all through here. We're gonna head back up a little bit this way. So I'm gonna try not to step on anything. the size of that spider. Almost took him to the face. Guess we'll go around. Like I said, this is pretty steep through here. I'm going to have a good time getting out of here. These. Might be easier to do it up here. Reminds me of Vietnam. Here we got a monument. Let's climb up there.
So it looks like they've turned this boulder into a memorial of the crash site. Because they really can't get this stuff out of here. You just can't get a rescue team in here to cart this stuff off. So if you get hurt down here, I said rescue teams will have a hard time getting to you. And uh, how they crashed was a navigation error. They were on a training flight. And it's really not that uncommon for this to happen, especially at that in those days. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 20,000 planes were lost due to training exercises uh, during World War II. About 25% of all Air, or Air Force or Army Air, Air Corps casualties were training. Come back to this big section, you can tell this is a way. Coming at it from a different angle, you can see the shape. Somebody, you can see where the flaps or air lungs were right there. Now that I have a different perspective on it. So this is another chunk of wing here. Fuselage down that way. That engine ended up way up there. So as I said, that's a good impact. Uh, and as I said, coming in here, this is not an easy climb getting out of this. You can see my hand here is about level with the camera. I got to go up there and climb all of this for about a quarter of a mile. I'm going to need a nap after this. Slow going. All right, well, I have made it back to the main trail. And I pulled over to the side here and found a, a rock shaped like my ass. So I figured I'd better sit on it for a while. He said, I was on all fours climbing up out of that, down the side of that mountain where that crash was. So I've only got about a thousand feet or so left for the summit. Uh, the battery died on the backpack cam. So I wasn't going to stop crawling up the mountain to change the battery. So I waited till I got up here. I've just changed it. So now I can get footage when we get up to the summit. A few groups have gone by me while I've been sitting here, so we won't have it to ourselves, unless they're coming down by the time I get up there. I'm trying to take a long break, give them a chance to see everything, turn around and come back. So let's get moving and get up there and see what we see. Well, I'm undecided as to what's harder. Just walking up the dirt trail or these dang steps that we've got in here. I'm not sure if these actually help or if they actually make the trail harder. Oh. I'm going to have trouble getting up the stairs into my house when I get home. It needs to be like a, a slide to get down. I think that'd be good. I passed two other guys. Well, it's the two guys that were down at the crash site. And they said the climb out of the crash site was the hardest thing they've done in quite a while. And I'll back them up on that one. It wasn't easy. This is a lot easier. But I'm just 
exhausted from the climb up from the crash side. So that makes this even more difficult. <sighs> Alright, let's keep going. Well, I'm going to assume by this sign and by this shelter, we're almost there. Oh, if I see any more steps, I'm going to puke. I said the steps make it worse, believe it or not. I'd rather just walk uphill. We gotta go up there. More steps. Alright, it's about as high as I can go. Right here. And we have made it. There's the lake down there where it started from. So the Atlantic out that way about 200 miles. Well, we made it. We climbed to one of the top, the top of one of the highest mountains in the state. Nine beat. Now I'm gonna sit here for a little bit before I head back down. But we got to climb a mountain, see some good views. Got to see a plane crash. Got to ride the Himalayan for a little while. You guys got to see that. We got a storm shelter in here. So if you're up here and you get caught in the weather, you get some place to take shelter. Well, getting down has definitely been much easier than going up. I've got to go down here to these steps and goes that way. Got a shortcut right here, but I don't feel like taking that. I'm going. I'm going the easy way. And we've made it back to Rosinante. I am beat. At least coming back, it was downhill the whole way. It wasn't quite as hard. I highly recommend if you go mountain climbing, just do the downhill part. Don't do the climb up. And this is why I wanted to camp and do this because the campground is right around the corner there. So I could go over there and just chill, just take a load off. But no, nope, now I gotta drive 45 miles. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I exerted myself for your guys' entertainment. So you better hit that like button down there. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.